happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another shein haul for you all y'all know i can't stay off that website i didn't try it but i fell miserably but that's okay though because i got some really cool items for you all but first i want to show you really quick i picked up some storage containers from dollar tree so i just want to show you all what i got i'm organizing my nail room i want to show you all what i picked up from dollar tree really quick it's going to be a really quick smooth haul so i picked up these storage containers here um it has three different uh slots to it and then it also um has a lid so let me open this up for you all so you can see exactly what i'm talking about here all right there we go so yeah so as you can see it's just a, a acrylic storage container but it has the three different slots here and then you can cover it and uh, put a lid on it so i'm thinking maybe i could put lint-free wipes sanding bands um you know, just frequently used items in here. So I got um, a few of these. I picked up three of them all together. So I'm gonna be organizing some things in here. I also picked up um, this, it's like a three three piece basket organizer thingamajig. And I think this is actually um, for the kitchen, but I'm gonna be using it for my nail room. And um, what I like about these is that you can actually connect them together like so like you can attach them to where they stay together or you can have them separate so i thought that was a pretty cool i'll be putting some nail items in there um i also picked up some hooks so i am running out of room to uh put my swatch stick set so i got some of these hooks so i can hang them um off the side of my desk and or off the side of a wardrobe that i have in my nail room so uh yeah i got some of these these were like i said dollar tree so they did increase their prices to like a buck and 25 cents but that's not much at all um about what you pay for on shein right so yeah and you get 12 of these and i did try one out already and it works so excited for this I also got this here is a cutting board and it's just a clear piece of glass which I really like so I think I already have like my mixing plate that I use from Amazon which I still love and adore but I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a bigger surface area to like work with so you know I could have it off to the side or something like that which now looking at this glare maybe not but you know just I bought it for nail art purposes if it doesn't work out I'll just put it in my kitchen the last few items I picked up from Dollar Tree just some press on nails they had some new coffin shaped nails at Dollar Tree um, I haven't seen this style at all so they had some matte black ones with some marble. They had these really cool, beautiful green ones. And then they also had this nice soft pink one. So um, yeah, I'm, I have a series going on my channel right now where I'm doing press on nails um, and applying them using different um, mediums. So, so far I think I've done sticky tabs, builder gel and acrylic. And so I'm gonna try it maybe doing poly gel. And there's also that Born Pretty Solid um gel thingamajig that i want to try as well so yeah um so i picked up some nail tips and then they also had them in a shorter it's like i think it's like a short stiletto so i got these as well just to kind of play around with so that's all i got from dollar tree and then really quick um believe it or not i got a storage item from aldi <laughs> If you all are not familiar with Aldi, it's a grocery store. So they have like a little section where you can like buy, you know, random things or whatever. So, or household things. So this is actually a spice rack organizer. I've been eyeballing one like this on Amazon for a while, but I just didn't want to bite the bullet and pay the price just yet. So I actually found this. It's a retail organizer, right? And actually, let me show you. I plan to put my gel polishes in here, right? Or I guess technically, oh, that's nice. So if you wanted to, you can put your dip powders in it. You can put, you know, other nail art stuff you have if you want to leave it on your desk. But I actually bought this for the purpose of storing my nail polishes. So let's go with these two tiers here. So this is a 15 ml bottle. So you can fit two of those right here. So you can fit one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can fit 12 of these on here. So what's that, 36? So you can fit 36 full-size polishes on here. And then I also have the 7.5 ml bottles. And I guess you can fit just two of those on one shelf too. So yeah, all together you can fit 36 polishes on here. Yeah, you can fit the 
full size ones on here. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I thought this was a steal. Um, I found it, I think it was like seven bucks. So I had to snag it and pick it up because I literally have been searching for one forever. And it was the last one they had too. So I was excited to find that. And yeah, so those are just some organization items that I got because I am trying to get my nail room put together, y'all, okay? On to the star. Here are my Shein goodies, okay? In this particular haul, I focused on rhinestones, y'all. So let's see what I got, cause honestly, I don't even remember. I must be on a nail tip frenzy, cause I actually got some more nail tips. Uh, so this right here, um, I like this because I think this was under, I know this was under $5 and it came with a variety of different nail tips. It came with a variety of different nail tips and it came with some rhinestones, which I thought was a really amazing deal. So these are the rhinestones that it came with. Let's see, and it has like a nice variety too. Let me see what all we got here. So actually I just dropped some of these, but that's okay. So these are, let's show you some of the, the things that come in here. And I didn't even get everything because it also has like a bow in here. So yeah, it came with like a nail form as well. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Yeah, look at this. It came with a pretty little nail charm in here. Like that's really cute. And then it came with a ton of different like rhinestones and gems. I don't know if y'all can see them too well. Let's see here. This one here has, it's like a teardrop one. There's even a diamond shaped one. A lot of circular ones. Some of them are clear. Some of them are, um, has the, the AB shift to it. So these are really pretty. So it came with these rhinestones, and then it also came with all of these nail tips, okay? That's the whole star to show here. So it got a variety of different colors here. So we have the nude ones here, right? I guess all of these are nude, but this is like a nice kind of light brown, a little bit darker. This is kind of like an ombre one almost, okay? This is like a soft pink one, a beautiful mauve. And the one thing I like about these two is that they're actually transparent, meaning that I'm pretty sure I can do the Gel X dupe method with this as they're transparent. You say you can kind of see right through the nail. So I'm sure that if I tried these with some builder gel, they'd be perfect. So yeah, I like the fact that they are already colored, you know? So yeah, this is another one here. We have all this beautiful soft pink. We also have, ooh, we got some white ones. They're kind of off-white though. They're not like exactly white. We got some, look at these, nice, like kind of orangey pink ones. Ooh, these would be cute for the fall. These are also really cute. Yeah, and then we got this color here. So, yeah, I think these are gonna be pretty good, like, they don't seem like they're of super cheap quality. Like they're they're kind of they're really flexible. So I'll be excited to put these to use and see how long they hold up. And even if you have tips right that are not super strong and sturdy, you can always put like a layer of builder gel or lay like a um, a quick acrylic overlay over it to strengthen the nail. So yeah, I thought this was a really cool set that came with all of this. Came with rhinestones and it came with. A butt ton of nail tips. I can't even, I don't even know how many is in here, but definitely feel like it's well worth the money. So the next thing I got here is just some more swatch sticks. I got the, the small square swatch sticks from Shein. I think they come with about 50. Yeah, let's say 50 here. So I think it's 50 in here. And so I got these actually in particular because I need to, I'm planning on swatching all of my foils. Um, and let me know if y'all want to see a video of me doing that. But um, this is currently how I have all of my foils organized. Yeah, so they are in these little like containers, which is nice because you can still see them. But I realized that when I'm wanting to just kind of look at all of my foils at a glance, I can't. And so I tried to put labels on them, but honestly, it's just not too efficient for me to be able to see everything at a glance. So I'm going to go through and swatch all of my foils, which is going to be great because it's going to give me an opportunity to practice using foils. Um, and speaking of foils, I actually have foils on my hand right now so this design right here is some foils that I got from Shein in a previous haul 
and um yeah i really like them a lot so i'll be using foils a lot more but like i said i can't really see what i have so i'm gonna go through and swatch them let me know if y'all wanted me to do a swatch video on all of my foils that i think that'd be a lot of fun to film but yeah that's why i got these swatch sticks and then I went through and picked up a lot of different rhinestones. So I got these rhinestones here. They are in the size, it looks like SS4. And it comes with, let me open this up. Okay. Yeah, oh, these are pretty. Now look at these, yes. Okay, so I picked up these rhinestones and they come in the size SS4 and it's uh, pretty much it's 1400 pieces in here over 1400 pieces in here. So I got the size four I also went and I got the size number five and these are the clear ones So these are nice and pretty and have a good shine to them. I also went through and I got the SS 12 and this is 1400 over 1400 pieces as well, but y'all do y'all see how these rhinestones shine like I really love getting my nail art and rhinestones from Shein. And then we have another one here that's in the size SS8. Okay, and I think, I guess I only got one clear one. I thought I got two different clear ones, but I only got one. So yeah, these are the rhinestones I got here. And then in a previous haul, I showed the storage container that I got from Shein that has all the little snap tops to it. That's where I plan to put these at. So I'm also gonna film an organization of me filming all of my rhinestones and my trunks as well. So stay tuned for that. Next we have, um, okay, so this is just uh, another nail art sticker. I think I previously hauled this and um, I liked it, so I got another one. Um, this is what this looks like. I like it because it has like, it's, it's a sticker, a nail art sticker, but you see it has those beautiful charms on it. I love that. And then we have like different, like random gold nail stickers here. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. So I picked up another one of these also got these rhinestones here let's see what we got so these i feel like they didn't look as shiny as yeah i don't think i like the quality of these right here because they don't look as good as so you can even see the quality difference in even just within the container itself you see how on this side they look really dull and then on this side, they look really shiny. So I don't know what Shein did with this particular one. And I noticed too, they got different backings. Like this one has like a black back to it. So I'm not too impressed with this, unfortunately, which makes me sad because I really love Shein um, for their nail art. But yeah, these look like they are not good at all. <laughs> I mean, they're okay, but they don't shine. You see, they look dull, okay? And then let me show you the other compared to these, which are glistening. Can you see the difference? I don't know if y'all can see the difference here. But yeah, these are a lot better, I think, quality wise. So maybe I need to pay attention whenever I'm getting like uh, the color of the backing. Cause like I said, I think that black backing, they look, they just look cheap. So um, yeah, I have them though, I'll use them. I just got a practice hand, so probably this is what I'll use on my practice hand. But I got them because it had like the different shapes or whatnot. So we have a square, rectangle, and then a small square. So that's what those look like. And then this is what these look like on the other side. These are really pretty. You see how they shine though? Glistening, bling bling Lego. I also picked this one up, which I feel like is pretty similar to what I already have. But you can never have enough bling, right? <laughs> so I got these again. They're the all different sizes, and look how pretty these stones are. Oh my gosh, they just shine so beautifully. And I actually, I was just on their website today, and I see that they have like a big old huge container of rhinestones now. And I wish I had just gotten that um, instead of getting all these separate little ones. But that's okay though. I'll still put these to use. Yes. Yeah, these are beautiful. I love, love, love rhinestones from Shein. I guess in particular the ones that have the silver backing. Now I'm learning that the ones with the black back, they don't, they don't look too, they don't look too high. So I also picked these up. Um, these are some multicolored ones. I like these. I thought these would be really fun for like the summertime. So you see these, the different colors. Yeah, I like that. So they got, they have like a pink shift to them. They have like an orange shift to them. Yeah, I thought these were really gorgeous. So I have those. 
those. Now uh, this one, this, this shine on here looks a little bit better compared to the other one that I just looked at. So I don't know if the colors make a difference or not, but yeah, these look a lot better. Look at these, now these are pretty. So I got these here. Okay. I have two more things of rhinestones. So I also picked up these beautiful kind of like champagne rhinestones or rose gold. I'm not really sure, but these are so pretty. Yeah, I love these as well. I really wanted to do these. There, I really wanted to have some of these during the fall time. There was a set I was doing that I wanted to put these on and I didn't have them. So now I have them in my collection and I'm going to be trying to put them to use y'all. Yeah, these are really nice. Okay. Well, that's what this is what I have been doing. Yeah, so these are really pretty. Okay. Yeah, these don't look as bad with the black backing. So let me I guess I'll just have to put them to the put a test put them to the test and see how they work out. Yeah, these are really pretty. Y'all see that shine? Love it. And then the last one I got here. Did I get two of these? I don't remember ordering two of these. Maybe they're different. I don't know. But um, these are some more rhinestones. I don't know y'all. Are these the same? Do these look the same to you? I think they're the same. Oh no, no, they're different. These are like more gold tone and these are not. Okay, they look pretty similar though. I don't think you get to tell the difference on the nail, but got these as well. Super pretty, okay, super pretty. Now y'all, we got a lot more charms, okay? <laughs> so um, I did pick up some more of these spiders, all right? I am in love with these spiders. I know that it is past Halloween, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm gonna be sporting these. I'm gonna be sporting these summer, spring, winter, fall. I don't care. I love how they look. They are so pretty. Look at these spiders. Oh my goodness. And what's nice about these too is that they have a nice curve to them, right? And then put them right on the nail. Like how cute is that? Oh my gosh. I love it. This is so beautiful. Love, love, love it. Shein, y'all are getting me good with these charms, okay? I also got, I guess this is low-key kind of a Halloween thing one. Okay, I think these are the charms that I saw on there that I wanted to get during Halloween and that I did not have. And so, you know, I have them. So we got some skulls here. Yeah, these are pretty. Look at those. Got some skulls. And they have a nice little curve to them as well. So let me show you what they'll look like on the nail. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like on the nail here. Oops. Look how cute that is. So one thing that I've, I've been doing during my videos is I'll just put some of the wax stick on my nail, right? And if I want to demo it to you all so that the surface of my nail isn't so smooth, it kind of helps the charm stay in place. So that's just a little hack for other YouTubers who are filming and um, they want to get their charm to stay on without doing too much. You can literally just take your wax pencil and just kind of like, like put some of the wax on your fingernail and then it should stick in place a little bit better. So yeah, look how cute this is though. Super adorable, okay? Love it. So I got this in gold and then I also picked it up in silver. So yeah, really cute, okay, really cute. Got some more rhinestones. So these are the diamond shaped rhinestones. I thought these were really pretty. I don't even need to take them out the bag. You all can see how gorgeous they are. I got those. I also picked up, I got some more spiders, y'all. I must have got the spiders in every single color they had because they're so cute. So I got them, I'm gonna take out one of each here. I got them in the clear. Clear silver. What is that? That's what these look like. I love these so much. I was so sad I didn't have a chance to like get these during Halloween and play around with them. But yeah, I got those. And then I also got them with like the iridescent shift to them in silver. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oops. How gorge you guys, how gorge. Okay. So got all of my little spiders here, okay? That clear crystal on here is super clear. 
just have a few more items. I did get some more um, rhinestones and these are like long rectangular ones. So these are really pretty as well. Love this so much. And then we also got, okay y'all, I was super excited for these right here. So these are like some little tiny perfume bottles. Like stop it right now. Like it's so cute. So let me see. Let's see if I can show you all what this is like. Look how cute this is. If I'm not mistaken, I think I hauled the gold ones. And so now I had to go back and get the silver. Like look at this. It's so cute. And it has a nice curve to it too. So it'll be easy really to it'll be really easy to adhere to the nail. Um and then I got these really cool clocks. You guys, like, yeah, these clocks are really beautiful. Look at this. Look at how this diamond is shifting in here. Wow, so beautiful. I cannot wait to put these on my nail. And you can see that it has that nice slight curve over here. Let me see how it looks here. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's not too big too, so if I wanted to, I could sport this on my nail right now, you know? One thing I like about Shein is that they have a variety of different sizes. And so um, sometimes I like short and, sporting long nails, sometimes I like sporting shorties. And so even when I wanna sport my shorties, I can still, you know, put some, you know, bling or big charms on there and it still looks nice and beautiful. Like, look how cute that is. Like, I really love this. This is adorable, wow. Okay. And then I also picked up uh, some of these. I'm not really sure what these are. Let me take them out here. But also something that you can sport with some shorties, which I love, okay? So I got these right here. Look at these. So beautiful. Yes, love it, love it, love it. See if I can get one on my nail here. Wow, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, she cute though. She real cute. Yeah, I like that. So we got these. And then the last charm that I picked up here is some more roses. And I got them in gold, you know? So gold rose here. And it's nice, they have a nice little curve to them. This is what the roses look like, okay? They have a nice little curve to them. Really pretty, you know, really pretty. So let me put one on and see what it's looking like. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is so beautiful. So um, what made me get these roses, especially these short gold ones, is I was watching uh, Short Nail Life and she did some Beauty and the Beast inspired nails. And Beauty and the Beast is like one of my all time favorite Disney movies. And so I think I wanna do some Beauty and the Beast nails. Um, not sure what design I wanna do, um, but I just thought they were really pretty. And so, yeah, I wanna put a rose on my nail and maybe do some Beauty and the Beast nails. Let me know if y'all wanna see that. And then the last item I got here is just this pinwheel full of goodies. Um, so yeah, we got an arrow here. I always like getting these little pinwheels because I just think they're so cute. So I guess it's just a ton of different little arrows. We got some arrows here. We also got just like some random shapes. Um, here's a bow. That's really cute. We also got, oh, even a smaller bow. That's pretty dope, okay. That's nice that they have them so small because like I said, if you have really short nails, like you can still wear them. And then we have some leaves here. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, you guys, so this is everything that I picked up in my most recent Shein haul slash Dollar Tree haul. So yeah, let me know what your favorite item is that I picked up. I'm thinking these nail charms, they own and popping y'all. Like I really love the, the nail charms and nail art from Shein. I am gonna be filming some organization videos. If they're not already up, they'll definitely be coming up soon. And yeah, check out some of my other Shein hauls. I've done a ton of Shein hauls on my channel. I love shopping them for all of my nail art supplies. They're super affordable and have some nice nice quality stuff. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.